with the back suspension all done, I'm able now to pull it off the bench and I'll pull both the wheels out of them, look at getting a, a fella to paint the, the rims up for me, get some decent tyres on them because that one's been on there for forever and ever. And this is one of those Shinko uh, drag tyres, I suppose, treaded drag tyres, that's as square as. I'll put some nice rubber on it, get the wheels freshened up and start there. This whole front end actually was off a ZX7, like a 96 or 7 model. So it's got the different brakes and stuff already. But got the wheel and guard out. Uh, just looking at these forks, they've got some pretty bad rust pitting on them. That all happened just by parking it up, putting it on a bit of carpet and covering it up and forgetting about it for a few years and it just rusted everything. So the bicar blaster got rid of that stuff on this side but they are sort of pitted um, not quite sure what I'm going to do about that yet so continue on and we'll have a think about it and see what we can come up with to solve this drama I've had a bit of a think about what I'm going to do or try and do it'll involve a fair bit more work like normal um, I've got another set of forks here off a Ducati I might try and retrofit those into it um, so now I'm going to remove the the brake system, the original, well the ZX7 brake system. Um, get the forks out and just see how close this other set of Ducati forks are to fitting. Well, I suppose since I've finished the rear suspension deal, I might uh, put all my tools away so it's not a pigsty. Get rid of these old shockies, start fresh with the new project being the front end. So we're all clean, and look what I found buried underneath all those tools. Set of uh, Olin's forks off uh, Ducati Street Fighter. So I don't know if they'll fit. I'm playing it all by ear. We'll see if we can get them to work. So we've got the forks out. The top triple clamp is out as well. Um, basically the overall length of the forks compared to the, the ZX7 ones that are in there. They are similar in length. The overall length is very, very close. And the good news is the uh, diameter of the lower triple clamp, where the, you know, the fork goes through, it's basically the same on both of them. So in a second, I'll have me, uh, my Olin's fork sitting in the bike. Check those rippers out. That's unreal. They went straight in. Um, Perfect. So all I need to do is have the the triple clamp here. I think it's 52 mil, and it's got to go to 53 mil size hole. Um, so that should be pretty easy for someone to to bore out for me. Uh, then either I run these guys, or I get a set of Ducati Superbike bars, and I'll be up and running. Nice bit of bling for the old girl. Yeah, they look mint. Then we've got to sort the wheel out. How to put that in there. Which I think that's where the fun will begin. Oh well. Each hurdle we'll just cross it as we get to it I suppose. Just triple checking. That's the fork leg diameter. And that's what I need the top triple clamp board out to. Right, let's see what's in the bag of tricks clip on it's been bored out so just one millimeter it took to make it big enough I haven't tried them yet so hopefully they're all good and the top clamp just both the holes here have been bored out by one mil another clip on so I'll put the camera down and see if they fit cross our fingers the clip ons bolted on perfectly so with a bit of luck, the top clamp will fit. See what it looks like. So they machined them, left a, a small gap, so we've got a bit of crush. It all worked out perfect. So, all clamped up nice. Slid on piece of cake. Um, she's a good thing. 
So next move is to try and figure out how to get the, the standard quacker wheel in between these Olin's forks. So I've had a bit of a measure, like you've seen, and the Diable axle is a bit longer than a normal 1098 axle, so we'll start there. On to the next part. So now with the Ducati forks fitted, I've got the front axle out of a Diavel, which uh, I think is a lot longer than what I need, which is good, something to work with. I measured up the stock spaces and the wheel nut, a few diameters. You can see if we can get it to work. The overall axle length looks like it needs to be 250 mil. Um, the Diavel was 270 something from memory, so maybe just a standard 1098 one is all we need. Okay, let's go find one. So I need the axle out of a 1098. So I've got my Turbo Street Fighter up here. Um, there's the axle, should be 250 mil long. Um, after that, I'll probably pull the front calipers off. But for now, I just want that axle to see if it uh, fits in the Kawasaki properly with the new forks. Okay, let's uh, take some bits off her. While the Street Fighter's up here, I'll give you a quick look. There's the Aero Charger. Special clutch. A plenum chamber. Goes good, makes over 200 horsepower. It's on this side. Ignition for it. So this might be the next project we we get stuck into after the quacker. Right, I've got the axle out of the Turbo Street Fighter. The old quacker wheel. See if it all fits. Beauty. That's the first goal kicked. Next part is, I hope it fits the correct width in here, which I measured up and used the internet and it says it should fit lengthwise. So with that flush there, it's a touch shorter, but in real life, it's only gonna be just slid in by nothing in the right hand fork leg. So I reckon that's really good. Now I'm going to put on a race stand and see if the wheel fits and what it looks like. 